In this specific video of QBasic for beginners, I'm going to show you how to calculate square root of a given number and cube root of the given number. In the previous video, I have shown about how to calculate square and cube of the given number. In previous six or seven videos, I have explained a few basic programming, how to write the code in the QBasic. So you can watch the playlist and you can understand how you can learn QBasic in very simple steps. Let's go to the screen and let's solve this problem. I'm using here QB64, which is easy to use. You can copy program, you can paste it here. You can test the program in a very simple way. If you don't know how to download and install it, I have already made the video on that. You can watch that video and you can download it for yourself. So now I'm using here rem keyword to write the program name because rem is used to write the comment in the program so rem program to calculate square root and cube root of input number of given number so what is the requirement for this program requirement for this program is one number user will enter any number then we have to calculate square root and cube root of that number and we have to print that so before we write the program let me show you what is square root and cube root how to calculate that first of all as you can see here square root means as you can see this symbol for square root I will calculate the square root for this number that is 9 let me show you what is the value 3 square root is 3 and for 9 I will calculate cube root also as you can see here 2.08000 so this is the symbol for square root and cube root I have calculated the value I have shown you so let's go to the screen and let's write the program CLS to clear the data of the output screen and then we need one number so I will write here enter any number I will store that number in n variable that is numeric variable n and then to calculate square root what is the formula sq I will use this variable sq for a square root a square root of this number that is n exponential symbol in bracket 1 by 2 this is for square root 1 exponent n exponential 1 by 2 for square root for cube root cq equals to n exponential in the bracket I will write here 1 by 3 this is for cube root then we have to print both so I will write here print square root is sq i have stored that in sq square root is stored in sq and then i will write here print again cube root is that is stored in cq as you can see here cq and then end let's run the program and test whether it is working or not you must keep this 1 by 2 and 1 by 3 in bracket so it will work so let's enter the number 3 square root is 3 and cube root is 2.08000 what I have shown you in the website I will provide the link of that website also you can test it for different number so let's run the program and enter the different number and let's check that 81 square root is 9 cube root is 4.32 let's go to this website and check for that cube root of 81 4.32 what I have shown you here in the program and for a square root of 81 let's enter the value and you can see 9 and our output also correct so in this way we can write the program in very simple way thank you for watching if you understand this concept click on the like button click on the subscribe button comment below and share with your friends have a good day and see you in the next video